plaintiff, Crystal Smith, moved in with her friend and the defendants, and she soon discovered that the defendants were dealing and using drugs on a regular basis. Crystal claims the defendants use whatever prescription pills they can get their hands on, and she's suing them for unreturned property. Defendants Amber Pathakos and her boyfriend Cameron Willis say Crystal was nothing more than a booty call for their other roommate, and when he refused to date her, Crystal assaulted him. They deny owing Crystal because they claim she never had any property at their home. Start with you. I, in January of this year, I moved in with Cameron and Amber and my friend, and my friend had vouched for them and said that they were good people, but I soon found out that they are not. They are dealing and using drugs on a regular basis. They would get prescription drugs from their family members to sell or use, which they would end up using more than they would sell. Um, How'd you come to learn all this? <laughs> by living there. Okay, so you saw all this going down? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, they would use Norco, Soma, Zanny bars, whatever they could really get their hands on. Um, there was one time that Cameron went out to sell a bottle of pills and came back with like a half a bottle but no money. And he clearly had taken all of them. He couldn't come into the house. By the time he finally got in, You know a lot of detail. <laughs> <laughs> Were you involved with any of this? No, not at all, never. How did you know how many pills the man had when he went out and when he came back? <laughs> because I saw it before they left. Oh, so you would inspect the goods. <laughs> well, not in my hand, no. Not how did you see them? Because I was, they were in the, I was in the house with them and I would see right, them. Right, but you don't go into folks medicine? No. Well, how did you know? <laughs> It wasn't like it was hidden from sight. It was on a daily basis out in the open. I mean, the bottle's fairly clear. You can oh, see it. Oh, it was clear. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. like a regular prescription bottle. Gotcha. Go ahead. Okay, so um, by the time he got into the house, he like face planted <laughs> right onto the floor because he was stumbling around so bad. Um, what about her? You said she was a dope fiend also, or is? <laughs> Hers wasn't as regular as his was, but it was still happening. Okay. And tell me about it. She's a weed head, y'all dope fiends, or what? <laughs> she's acting like she's pure. What's her deal? Um, she came to my house as a booty call to our roommate. She was homeless. When she came to my house with a broken leg living in her car, I offered her to take a shower, stay warm, and from then on it was, she just wanted to have a relationship with my roommate. My roommate did not want nothing to do with her, did not want to be her boyfriend, nothing at all. We'd give him condoms because we knew she was trying to trap him to get pregnant. <laughs> when... He didn't know to get any on his own? <laughs> he's, he's not the smartest one. He really... He's saying what? His <laughs> elevator didn't go all the way to no, the top. No, no, it didn't at all. Go ahead. <laughs> and, um... Then when he didn't want to be her boyfriend, she flipped out and she punched him, ripped his shirt, caused a big scene in front of my three-year-old and my five-year-old, and that's when I asked her that I'd not to be at my house no more. Tell me about this, ma'am. It wasn't exactly a booty call. There were no condoms involved because I have my own, thank you very much. I don't need somebody to supply them for me. Um, and that's pretty much irrelevant. Yeah, I moved in with a friend who was living with them, but they told me that it was okay with them at the time. I was only there for about a little over a month, I believe. Under what terms did you leave once again? I left on my own terms. Why? I, because I was sick of what was going on there. I couldn't okay. handle it. Where did you go then? Um, I stayed with my father for a couple of days. And okay. then I... Um, when you moved in with them, you were living in your car? Yes, that okay. is correct. What caused that to be the case? For me to be in my car, you mean? Yeah, if you don't mind. I mean, um, not a big deal, but... <laughs> it was actually a couple of years that I had been in my car. All right. I couldn't afford to commute to where I worked, and I, um, so I was just, it was easier to stay in my car for several days, go home and couch surf. Okay, and tell me about the property you're suing for. How okay. do they owe you? When I left on February 13th, I could only fit par part of my stuff into my car. So I told Amber, I said, I'm gonna come back in a couple days to get the rest of my stuff. Since when? You've been in there for two years. <laughs> How all of a sudden you can't fit stuff in there? Because we had gone to my storage unit and gotten a lot of other stuff out that we would need for the house. Okay, go ahead. Things that I didn't need in my car. <laughs> all right. So I, she said, that was fine. You can come back and get it. Just let me know when you're gonna come. So then in the 17th, I said, I need a time frame to try to come and get my stuff. And she said, I'm not home. 
And then several text messages later after me trying to say, okay, when can I come? I'm trying to get this all done. She then said, well, I just walked through the house and there's nothing here that's yours, which she had just before that said like 10 minutes. Okay. You have I'm listed home. items? I do. So how long did you all go through this process? Days, weeks, or um, what It's have only you? a couple of days. Right. Thank you. On that same day, I did show up with a police officer to try and claim my property. And what happened? Um, we knocked on the door, but nobody answered. So we had to assume that nobody was home, like she had said that she was not home. And he then said, you know, you can try to take them to court. And at that point... I had been told through my friend that Cameron had trashed all of my property. And he said, you're more than welcome to go dig through the garbage to look for it. So then on the 28th, after all of this had happened, I then got a message from her saying that their house just got broken into, the police were just there, they had taken fingerprints, um, and that they had made a police report. So I went to go get a copy of the police report, and it's dated the following day. Not the 28th. It says gotcha. uh, the Give first. Me whatever evidence you keep looking at there. You have 112 movies here you're yes. suing for. $2,200. Yes. So you have, that's just ghetto fabulous. You have two, <laughs> you have two thousand dollars in movies living yes. in your car. Yes. You got nerve enough when you to don't have, have sex toys too. Yes. <laughs> Not going with all this, ma'am. Give him this list. That's the items that I had taken out of storage and brought to the home. And the movies, most of them were not in my car at the time, but I... I know what wasn't in storage. <laughs> <laughs> Some toys. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do with her things? That is absolutely absurd. I mean, what kind of woman would steal somebody else's sex toys? She never lived with me. She never had property at my house, except for the clothes that she'd shower and change in. Did you all see the movies that she had? She never had the nothing DVDs? but the clothes. Did anyone see your movies? Um, actually, if the text messages, which um, the bailiff handed you, there's mm -hmm. a message in there that does state, you're gonna sue me over some DVDs and some dishes, which proves that they were in the house Absolutely, if I see that. The only DVDs that were in my house were our roommates. <laughs> Now suddenly you've seen them. You say, my house got robbed. They took everything. Where's your police report regarding the... I, I didn't bring it. I didn't know it was going to be an issue to bring the police report from when my house got robbed. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't even there. So you think those uh, sex toys plug into the car light? <laughs> <laughs> He's a cold man. He's a cold man. Everything else goes into the lighters now. You're right. Charge telephones, you can charge. Yeah, that's a good point. If not, that might be a little invention of yours. All right, and you give me this incident report to show me what? The date says uh, March 1st mm -hmm. for the, the burglary at 6 a.m., well, between 6 and 10 a.m., and the text message that I got that claimed of the burglary was the day before that. How do you explain that? I don't know. I. Uh, but we never made, the police came out, they did what they did. We never filed a report after that. Do you have any evidence or a list of the things they took from you all? No, we never filed anything after that. But they do just you, do came. Do you know what they took from you all? Yes. What? They took um, two TVs, a bunch of my jewelry, um, what else? The projection screen, the, it was a list of things. I have the list of what was taken, if you would like that, Let's too. see it, please. You have some receipts, estimates, or any evidence of all this $4,000 worth of items that a homeless person has. <laughs> <laughs> I do have these receipts for Let's some of it. the items. Shipping address, and this is... I don't... You gave me the impression you obtained all these things out of your storage facility. Yes. These things appear to be new if they're shipping, if they're no, shipping that, them. No, that's too. from when I bought them. Where are the dates on here? I'm just not getting a good feel from you, ma'am, about all this stuff you claim to have had. 
particularly these hundred movies. <laughs> I know it's a lot. Two hundred dollars worth of I movies. Know. I do have a statement from my ex-husband saying of what the movies are and that I did win them during now, the divorce. If you have an ex-husband who will say something <laughs> nice about you, I'll, I'll believe that. <laughs> now you're talking. You all never followed up with all the property that was stolen from you guys? No, we're, we're, we've moved. Where, where we live, good luck. I was married to Crystal. I was given a copy of the items planning for stated was thrown away. I've gone through the items and marked all the items I know that she had. I know that she had these items because she won them during the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> So I also know that she has had these items since then because we have talked about them since. While we were married, we had put labels on all of our movies. That I do I'm, have the full list of the movies if you want let's that. Let's see that. If you the, took this much time so you know, to lie, this is you deserve where he this money. <laughs> see, you can tell a woman by the movies she watched. <laughs> National Treasure, all these action movies. I like action movies. Hercules, everything is action. <laughs> you have any love stories? Um, just a few. I'm not a big chick flick fan. So you got Malcolm X with Martin Luther King? <laughs> Autobiography? <laughs> the Judge Mathis story? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you do like. <laughs> I was just kidding. That's not it. <laughs> I want to grant you your money, ma'am. You, you've, uh, you've convinced me. I definitely believe you all came up with this because you have a conflicting date, as she says. Your text says that it happened even before the incident occurred, meaning you had already had it set up. All right, judgment for the plaintiff. That's my decision. Have a good day, guys. I'm glad she's out of my life and I don't have to deal with her no more. I don't really have much to say. I'm just glad I'm out, that's all.